Hi guys, welcome to another video and in this lesson we're looking at how to make uh, soluble salts practically. This is usually a six mark question in the exam where they could ask you how do you produce um, a soluble salt and how do you extract the salt from that solution. There's two different ways of producing a soluble salt and we're going to go through both of them. The top example is if we was to use an alkali, which is just a soluble base. And you can see that the alkali, I've just shaded it in blue, because that's the colour it will turn universal indicator. We can add our acid into the alkali. And we can keep adding the acid until it has been neutralised. And we can test when neutralization has occurred by using universal indicator paper. The universal indicator paper will go or it will go green when neutralization has occurred. At that point we know to stop adding the acid because neutralization has already happened. Our salt will be dissolved in this solution. So all we need to do is evaporate the water. This is sometimes called crystallization. And we would usually pour this solution into um, an evaporating basin. And you can leave this overnight as the water evaporates. And your salt crystals will be left along the bottom of the base. The longer um, it takes for the water to evaporate, the bigger the crystals you'll produce. We could speed up this process of crystallization by heating the solution to make the water evaporate quicker. But what if we wanted to make salts using a base? Remember that bases don't dissolve in water. Or sorry, a base that doesn't dissolve in water. And what we would do is we could add spatula amounts of that base to an acid. I've represented the acid as red as that's the colour it would turn universal indicator. And we can keep adding that base again until neutralisation has occurred. I can check when neutralization has occurred by using universal indicator paper. And I'd expect that universal indicator paper to turn green. There may be um, some leftover base, which we call an excess, so we need to filter that excess away. Our soluble salt will be collected at the bottom here. And then again, we just leave that soluble salt to evaporate or crystallise. Okay guys, thanks for tuning in. Stay in touch for another video.